Hey guys, it's Rob J here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about a Ant Space product. This is the Outworld module. The Outworld module is essentially the larger version Outworld that attaches into the modular system of various modules, like their Moist module, their Queen Chamber modules, all sorts of modules. See my other videos for other items that have been reviewed. So we're going to work our way into this like normal. The lid itself is quite strong and robust. It's really well fitted and it has an internal lip so it lines itself up when you slot it into place. It has a feeding hole on the top. This is a quite a loose sort of slide. So there's no real pressure involved and just make sure that it's shut before you leave your ants. The Outworld's air vents are really well done and I tested it on really tiny little ants and there was no escapes whatsoever. And I did also test the airflow under pressured air and there was definitely a nice airflow as I used a fogger to see anything escaping. So as we move down, we're going to take a look at how it's built and sort of fixed together. Now, it's not unusual to see stainless steel screws in these constructions, but this one has opted for the 3D printed internal bar, so it can link every piece of the acrylic together in the four corners without use of any glue or anything else. It also creates a stronger internal corner and slightly more robust than just the corners screwing into each other. The entrance and exit is really quite nice and one of my favourite things about this, I think it's probably over engineered, but I must admit I like that. It has a little staircase so the ants feel like they're actually going down underground when they enter their own nest. And there's an observation window here for you to see them coming up. Um, sounds a little bit gimmicky, but believe me, I really do actually like watching them come out. Because they, they're peeking out of the entrance, but you can see them from behind. They don't even know you're looking. And as always, it can attach to any of the modules in any order, no matter what, from any angles. It uses their push-down lock system that I have explained in a little bit more detail in other videos. I will pop a card in the top corner now if you'd like to go and see the Queen Formicarium review. But the system is really good and you can do pretty much anything. You do get two water towers with it and they are all 3D printed as well as this entire system. Or you can use the test tube adapter on the other side to not only move your ants in, but more helpful than that, to be honest, would be to use it as a really large water source. So fill it right up to the edge, put cotton wool in it, so they can go down there, drink, come back up. Or you can use the included water towers. That's really up to you. How you decorate this thing is obviously up to you as well. Um, it has a crystal white floor, so you can see your ants in detail, but obviously white can get dirty. I obviously don't mind this, so I've opted for a very simple internal. But I don't think it needs decoration because it's such a nice thing to look at. It is really well designed. But Obviously you could grout the internals because it's sort of raised up on the inside. You could get, you could grout right up to the level of the entrance. You could have a nice layer, you could add sand, whatever you like. Anyway guys, that's been a quick look at Ant Space's Outworld module. And this is sort of the large version. I will get the smaller version of the Outworld module in for review and we'll take a look at that. This is for the more established of colonies. 